Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. I'm um, sorry my setup's like a little strange, but I wasn't even going to be filming this video today, but then I thought, I kind of want to talk about this. So, um, Skincare Sunday, happy Skincare Sunday. I'm filming this a little bit in advance for Skincare Sunday. Um, I was about to put this product on my face that I've been using just about every day lately and decided I should do a video on it. Two weeks ago, I did a Skincare Sunday and I mentioned a whole blog on um, my favorite or go-to products for this year for SPF. Um, and then I got a little delayed on that, so that blog took a little while to get up. It is now up. You guys can check it out now. Um, so I will have that link down below in the description box. But briefly mention this in the blog because it is now one of my go-to SPF products, but it also is a product for other things. So that's why I wanted to do a whole skincare Sunday on it. I am about to film my Makeup Monday for when you guys are watching this last week. Sorry that there wasn't a Skincare Sunday last week. I apologize. Um, my weekend was a little crazy um, with different things that I'm currently working on. So, yeah. Today I'm going to be talking about a product from Dr. Jart. This is a tiny, tiny sample size, but I am in love. Um, this is the C... Cicapar, I think is how you say it, the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. Now, I do have this tiny sample that was on my skincare shelf of the regular Tiger Grass Cream. This thing has lasted me a while because I only use this usually like when I'm breaking out. The Tiger Grass Cream is good. It hydrates, soothes, redness, and itching due to dryness, and that type of ordeal. So usually when I'm breaking out, it never fails around the breakout will kind of get like really dry as I'm putting treatments and stuff like that on it. So I like to also go in with this and do like spot treatments just to hydrate the area whenever it's healing up so that I don't have tons of like dry patches whenever I'm putting my foundation on. So because of that product, I was intrigued by this one. I think I got this in an Allure beauty box maybe, um, but I decided I was going to try it out because I liked the Tiger Grass Cream so much that I wanted to see what the color correcting was all about. Um, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys probably see that I don't do a whole lot of color correcting. I mean, yeah, I do MAC Paint Pot on my lids as a base for my eyeshadow and to cover up my veins and that type of ordeal, but when it comes to the rest of my face, um, usually my foundation and concealer are enough to cover it so I don't really have to worry about it. But here lately, I have experienced some redness, mainly in my T-zone. Um, I have like a zit going on right here. TMI, it's my time of the month. So um, this is the time where I start getting a lot of breakouts. Um, usually when I get stressed out, I will have, which is most of the time, I will have breakouts like along here. But when it's my period, it's all on my chin. It's usually through here and then through here as well. So hormonal breakouts, fun. Um, so yeah, they get really red and irritating and everything. And in the summertime, I've mentioned it too, I like really light makeup looks. I like my skin to be very lightweight. I don't want to cake on the foundation. I don't want a lot going on because I just like the feeling of having a light face um, because of the heat pretty much. So not just that, but like when I get in a summertime mood, I'm just like dewy face, natural makeup, mood, that's what I'm always into. So now, even if I do bright colorful eyeshadow, I'm still into that natural looking face. And that's really what I've been into right now. 
and still rocking, but it's really hard to rock a very natural lightweight face with the BB cream or something like that, something that's very low coverage or light coverage um, with acne, redness, and stuff like that going on. So it's kind of been pooping on my parade lately, the redness and acne. So I was kind of cleaning up some and I happened to see this product from one of my past Allure boxes is what I'm assuming it's from. And it says it neutralizes redness and protects skin, improves skin appearance to be vibrant, and it also has SPF 30 sunscreen. So it's actually sunscreen. It's not just like a little added plus to a moisturizer. It's full on sunscreen. And I really like that about this. It is only 30 and I do have products that are better, but this is literally what I've been needing in my life. Something to help cover my redness, but also sunscreen for the summertime is like perfect right now. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's just like a light green. And usually when you're combating like redness, you go into like a green color corrector. And if I use in the past, when I've used a color corrector, it's always been a green one. So I was pretty used to that. It does have that like tiger grass scent. If you guys have ever tried the Dr. Jart um, tiger grass. I'm going to go ahead and start applying it just so I can show you guys like my redness. I might actually take a picture first and then I'll start applying this. I also have it pulled up over here on Sephora because you can get Dr. Jart at Sephora. But you guys see that zit right there. I like to just put a little bit on. If I have zits, I usually put a little bit more like that on and let it set for a minute um, in the bad areas. This is sunscreen, so it's really nice because you could just put this product all over your face if you want to and even though it's like a minty shade you're going to be covering it up with something anyways um but if you do really rub it in you see like that minty it kind of goes away it isn't so intense so I do recommend rubbing it in just all over like a regular sunscreen if that's all you're going to be wearing instead of letting it set like I am. But since I'm going to be putting foundation on today, um, I let it set in the red areas and acne areas. I can say this product a little bit goes a long ways and that's really nice. Now this product does say that it is a green to beige color correcting treatment that corrects redness and protects the skin from UV damages um, or UV damage and environmental aggressors. So it's for normal dry combination and oily skin. Um, pretty much just helps uneven texture, dryness, redness, dullness. It is a cream. You can, like I said, find this on Sephora. Um, they actually sell a 0 0.5 ounce little jar, which is even bigger than what I have here. And this has been lasting me for quite a while because, like I said, a little goes a long way. Um, and this one has 0 0.16 fluid ounces. So you could get half an ounce um, on Sephora for $18, which really is not bad. I've really been liking this product. I will be buying it after... Um, I run out, but you can also buy the full size, which is 1.7 fluid ounces for $52. So it's a little bit more up there, but Dr. Jart kind of is, but A plus for me because it is so good. You guys can probably already tell the, I hope it picks up good on camera, but it's always like just crazy the amount of difference that I have in my skin. This makes my skin glow but it also makes my skin like really soft after I apply it and I see a huge difference in my redness. Even the acne, yeah, you can still see it and there's still some peeking through. I, I sometimes will double up if I need to, but I'm putting foundation on so it's not that big of a deal. So you can put a little bit more on if you're just gonna go bare face like this. I've had really red acne spots and this stuff has made it look 10 times better, like so good. Plus, this is a skincare product, so you're not just putting junk on, you're like covering your face up with junk either. So it's kind of nice because you're having a little bit of a cover, but it's also just skincare. Um, and it is just your natural skin, so this is just going to be a little bit of a sheer veil over your skin. But yeah, any like any color correcting, this just doesn't have a lot of pigment like the concealer color correctors that you may think about. But... 
I'm really enjoying it. I wanted to share it with you guys. You guys can check out the blog if you want to know a little bit more about it or how I compare it to the other um, sunscreen SPF products that I'm currently really liking. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to maybe pop on and just show you guys how my face looks with all my makeup on so you guys can kind of see how it looks underneath makeup. Um, as best as possible, but yeah, that is gonna be put in a little video of it But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day a great rest of your week And I will see you guys in my next video